a handful of people have urged me to speak to you in this way. I've seen other friends who are doing it and felt, yeah, I'd like to do that. Um, the last one said, you know, anything you want to speak about. Well, I know many of us, of course, are addressing the coronavirus and associated themes. I thought, what's on my mind? Well, to be honest, what's on my mind is something that happened to me very recently. I was in South Africa and in a church I've grown to love over the last few years, new to me. And uh, one of the elders who I'm just growing in love and respect for was chatting to me at the beginning of a large crowded meeting. And as we talked together, a beautiful young black boy uh, ran up to us and he put his hand on his shoulder and said to me, this is my son. And, uh, you know, with obvious pride and joy, uh, and the boy ran off. My friend is a, a white elder. And it was simply the way he said, this is my son that has stayed with me. I find it comes to me when I'm praying. It did again this morning. I was praying and there it came again. This is my son. It was obviously he could have said, this is my adopted son, but he didn't. He just quite plainly with such joy and affirmation. This is my son. We didn't discuss it. The boy ran off happily. We were talking about other things. But as I've come to pray again this morning, this thing has just stirred my heart, rung in my heart. This is my son. It's so wonderful to find that I now belong. I've been adopted into the family and I'm not called an adopted son, I'm called my son. And I have access, I can draw very close. I didn't ask my friend about how old was the boy when he adopted him. I can't imagine the joy he felt when he first heard that boy call him dad. Look into his face and say, no, you're my father. Everything changed, I'm sure, when he was adopted. Certainly everything changed for me when God adopted me into his family. Now I know the New Testament style of adoption was probably not of little children, but of adults who were brought into a family in order to inherit their ministry, their future, their status. But nevertheless, the beauty of what I saw has stayed with me. As we come to God, we come to a father with absolute right, with standing, with the delight of the father's heart. In these days, when we have more time on our hands, let's often rush into our father's presence, enjoy his embrace, know we have his ear. God bless you as you go through this day.